Hey guys, my name is Judy Cho and I'm board certified in holistic nutrition. And I have a private practice where we focus on root cause healing. And that often starts with the carnivore cures, all meat elimination diet. Today, I had the pleasure of sitting down with Dr. Philip Ovedia. Why do we think that for heart health, we should stop eating cholesterol and saturated fats? Yeah, this is really a, uh, a complicated, convoluted story. And, you know, it's interesting when you really look at the scientific literature, there's no reason that we should believe that. There really is the evidence does not support that conclusion. And this has now been shown in multiple large, you know, what we call meta-analyses and, you know, interventional trials. And it was really just poor science, honestly, combined with almost a religious pursuit of this idea that got us here in the first place. Many people are probably familiar with the story of, you know, Ansel Keys, who was really the first scientist that strongly promoted this idea that saturated fat in the diet was was causing the epidemic of heart disease that we were seeing in this country in the 1950s. This really reached a crisis point in 1955 when President Eisenhower, while in office, had a heart attack. And that appropriately set off the alarm bells. And Ansel Keys, who was kind of a fledgling scientist at the time, you know, just really promoted this hypothesis about saturated fat and blamed you know, President Eisenhower's heart disease on saturated fat, despite the fact that President Eisenhower was a heavy smoker, and that was sort of the obvious cause for his heart disease. And then, you know, he set off on a scientific mission to prove his hypothesis. And really, when you look at the work that he did, he didn't really stick well to the scientific method, we'll, we'll say, but he was able to gain a lot of political power and really, you know, use some sort of heavy handed techniques to quash any anyone who questioned his hypothesis. And, you know, from there, basically industry got involved, the food industry got involved, and then the pharmaceutical industry got involved. And, you know, when I went through medical school in the 1990s, you know, early to mid 1990s, it was an unquestioned fact. It was not presented to me as hypothesis. It was presented to me as fact, as cholesterol is the cause of heart disease. And the primary way that we can manage heart disease is by managing cholesterol levels. And of course, you know, I and many others have now come to discover that that's not really the whole story. So if I went to medical, t medical school today, would the same narrative be continued? So would they still say to me, to reduce heart disease, I would have to reduce my cholesterol levels? Yeah, most definitely. And that's what all of our practice guidelines are centered on. And, you know, I want people to understand that it's not that I'm saying that cholesterol has nothing to do with heart disease. It's just that cholesterol shouldn't be our primary focus when it comes to heart disease. And a blanket lowering of cholesterol levels isn't really what we need. When I talk about cholesterol, it's in the context of our cholesterol quality matters. It's not really our cholesterol quantity that matters.